Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. As you can see, I'm at Universal Studios Hollywood to have some fun, cruise around the park, and check up on the Halloween Horror Nights construction because sure enough, that event is rapidly approaching. I was gonna say steadily, but no, it's rapidly approaching. Opens up September 9th, just a few weeks away. So without further ado, let's cruise around the park, have some fun, check up on the construction, and dive right in. And our wonderful journey begins here at the ET parking structure. It's one of the biggest parking structures at Universal Studios Hollywood and it gives you a great view looking out towards uh, City Walk. You can see Hogwarts Castle off there in the distance. The top of the former Hard Rock Cafe building, the dome structure. And looking off towards the left here we have uh, the Hilton and Sheraton Towers, and then furthest tower, the tallest one, the Comcast NBC Universal Tower. That's where all the magic happens for all the film and television and all the theme park stuff. Today's video is all about Halloween Horror Nights construction as we are approaching the opening date very quickly. It's already August, if you can believe that. Isn't it incredible how fast the year is going? And you know, Universal Studios Hollywood is working on all of those mazes, so we're gonna check up on that today. Just kinda see what else is going on in the park. I love hanging out here at Universal Studios. You never know what's gonna happen. I mean, we are in Hollywood. We never know who we're gonna run into. I mean, look at this. E.T. has already made an appearance in this video, just a couple minutes in. Hello, E.T. You know, I miss you, E.T. When we go to Orlando, I'm gonna have to ride your attraction and uh, save your planet. And our first stop is the Curious George parking structure where they're working on a lot of the Halloween Horror Nights goodies this year. Two of the mazes are in this location, as you can see, one of them being Haunting of Hill House. At least I think uh, they've confirmed that this one is Haunting of Hill House. Uh, Haunting of Hill House is confirmed for the event. Just wasn't sure if uh, anybody had confirmed the location, but I believe it's this one right here. That's what I've been hearing online and whatnot. This one is obviously Pandora's Box, and that's because we've seen the facade that is very similar to the one in 2019, and we've seen these crews work on a lot of fluorescent stuff on the outside which kind of gives it away now there's some crews working on site right now and I'm gonna avoid showing their faces and be completely respectful to them and what they're doing because they are busy and the park is wanting to get these things done as quickly as possible so again if you guys are coming to film uh, Halloween Horror Nights construction please be respectful to the park uh, everything that I film on camera is in uh, view of a guest I can see this as a guest and I don't go above uh, my boundaries so yeah, just a quick little heads up for those that are maybe wanting to film construction updates too. But yeah, there's a lot of people on site today. So I'll kind of navigate around that. But this is the look of um, Pandora's box on the tail end here. As you can see, zoom in. They have the tech room right there, the makeup and mask room, and then the break room off on the far right hand side. Now I would assume this is just uh, the same layout but opposite, so I would think the exit's gonna be on this side over here. There are a couple emergency exits and it looks like one of them may be the exit to the attraction. There's some exits over on this end, but I think efficiency-wise it might be easier to have guests exit this way and out back down that pathway. And of course the facade is in the front, but exciting stuff. Isn't that kind of neat how they put the whole layout underneath it, just a tent? It is, it is a... It is pretty neat to watch these things get built from the ground up. And here's a closer look at Haunting of Hill House. You can see they put a secondary base coat on that front facade. It's a little bit darker than what it was when I was here yesterday. Um, I was looking at the facade. Yeah, they've definitely painted it again, which is nice. It's nice, a nice solid jet black. Now, a couple things might happen with this facade. It might be a projection surface, and they'll project some cool imagery on it for Haunting of Hill House, or like I've said in previous videos, this might be a, a giant sticker, piece of vinyl or whatever it is, uh, similar to what they've done at the Bride of Frankenstein maze. It's just like a giant sticker that they put up uh, that they've kind of printed out and someone has drawn together. So we might get that uh, on, on this facade. That, that's at least what it's looking like because it's just a big flat surface. And there's a look at Pandora's box facade on the side. That's all we can really see from this angle. But 
yeah, you can totally tell that the details are on the facade. That one looks to be pretty much done. And they've even installed audio if you look really closely. So that means that the audio inside the attraction is probably done as well. Or if not, like, they're still piecing some of the speakers together because then the next step would be to tune the audio as we get a little closer to the event. They go in here with uh, the sound designers. They walk through the attraction making sure that all the different speakers are finely tuned for the experience. Yeah, it's nice to see some progress on Pandora's box. And crews were working on this one. They might be on lunch right now because it's three o'clock. So they might be coming back a little bit later to finish off a couple things. And then throughout this week, you're gonna see a lot of activity on both Pandora's box and the Haunting of Hill House attractions over here at Curious George. All right, enough of the Curious George parking structure mazes. Let's head into the park, walk through City Walk, say hello to King Kong real quick, but maybe uh, get some food because I haven't eaten anything all day today. That might be uh, scrum diddly umptious to get a little bite to eat right now. And then, yeah, so after that, let's head in the park. And just as a reminder, you can get your uh, COVID vaccination shot right here at Universal Studios Hollywood. How cool is that? I feel like you're going to see a lot of this. A, a lot of it. You're going to see a lot of vaccination sites pop up at theme parks like this. And since we're up here, I guess I can give you guys a little construction update on the Firehouse Subs, which is coming soon according to that construction fence. You can see they're starting to put some of the details of the uh, the brick pieces that are going to be pretty much cemented to the outside of this building, which will look nice. I think they've finished the other side. Kind of walk over here. I kind of wish it was a Jersey Mike's. Not going to lie. I, I'm a fan of Jersey Mike's. I've never had Firehouse Subs, so I'll give it a shot but I, I am a fan of Jersey Mike's. Okay, yeah, so this is what the finished product's gonna look like. So yeah, see, this looks nice. This is really nice. This is real, too. It's not, this is about as good as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Carter? Looks like a chimney. Wow, you're like a shadow. Here, let's turn you around. There we go, that's a little better. By the way, Jinx everywhere. If you haven't uh, seen Carter's channel, I'll go ahead and leave that link down below in the description. He has some wonderful videos oh, from here in uh, Southern California and in Orlando. But yeah, so uh, at least there's some progress on the firehouse subs here at CityWalk. All right, that was a quick little lunch break. But now we can venture off into the park and I won't pass out because I didn't have any food today. So <laughs> let's continue on our journey to check out the Halloween Horror Nights construction. And uh, maybe if the lines aren't too long, maybe we'll jump on Secret Life of Pets or Jurassic World or something. Now one thing I did want to mention before we head in the park, I got a chance to look inside the NBC Sports Grill and Brew and it's actually quite cool inside. Very well done. They have plenty of TV screens everywhere to watch the game and they have little games you can play at your table. So how cool is that? So. Before you head in the park for Horror Nights or something coming up, grab a bite to eat there, play some games, and then have fun in the park. Or here during the day, when you're done with the park, head over to NBC Sports Grill and Brew, grab a bite to eat, grab a brew, you know, and play some games at your table. How cool is that? Oh, hold on everybody, hold on. Construction update live. This palm tree is under refurbishment. Step back. Palm trees receiving a makeover. And we've officially made it in the park. Oh yeah. You can tell uh, Waterworld has just ended. That's why a lot of the crowd is uh, in front of me there. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not how, how crowded the park is right now. That's just the uh, Waterworld dump. But yeah, see, pro tip, what I usually do is when Waterworld is over, I wait to be like one of the last people out of the stadium. And that just kind of makes it easier on the way out here. Cause yeah, look at all the people cruising on out of the show kind of have some ch congestion here. It's similar to what you'd experience on the 405 freeway here in Southern California. So yeah, my best advice is if you don't mind waiting just a few extra minutes while the crowd leaves the stadium, by all means, go ahead and wait a few minutes. Now, of course, as always, we beeline it over to Waterworld to check up on the Halloween Horror Nights construction. As you can see on the outside here, not much has changed. Just this particular scene always seems to be sticking out. Uh, don't really know what's going on in here because we really don't know what maze this is. There's a lot of rumors online and whatnot. I'm thinking it might be a Halloween maze just because the front facade gives us those context clues. Other than that, everything is speculative until the company officially announces it. But I'm curious to see what this one uh, might be. And as far as the front of the attraction goes, pretty much looks the same from last week when we saw it. The only difference that I'm noticing this, uh, th this year, this time, is that it's been, it's been distressed. So that means that this is probably finalized. 
they're probably not gonna be there's probably not gonna be that many changes uh, on the facade and this is what, what we're gonna be getting for Halloween Horror Nights 2021 yeah that facade looks very similar to Halloween 4 so that's probably what we're getting now closer to Universal Plaza they usually start putting up some different lighting fixtures and some intelligent lighting uh, for the scare zone that's usually up here but I don't see anything just yet there's usually lighting on top of the New York Street buildings so we'll have to check back in the next couple weeks and I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some lighting soon. Oh, look at that, it's Scooby, yep. Scooby-Doo, Scooby. yeah. See, he knows you, Carter. What's up, Scooby? Yeah, he, he knows what's going on. Scooby's always killing it, so is Velma, yeah, see? Yeah. They know what's up, they know what's up. You know, Scooby might just be looking at these people wondering, where are the Scooby snacks? Tell me where the Scooby snacks are. See, he found out where they are. And they're right behind him. In that, uh, in the in the in the Walking Dead building, they're in there. There's probably a boatload of them in there. He's too scared to go in there. Though. He is pretty scared to go in there because you never know. The zombies still might live in there. We never know. You don't know what's going on in 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 that building. You never know. They could be in there, or they could have could have just totally got rid of them. Yep. We don't know, but. All I know is that Scooby knows that there's some Scooby snacks in there. And over here at the Parisian Courtyard, this is your current look at the Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Nothing has changed that I can see that is visible on the facade work. It seems to be uh, pretty much complete. But if we kind of pan over here towards the uh, right, we have some uh, show lighting. Well, it kind of, you could kind of <laughs> like shadow it out, but it's there. Let me zoom in. There it is. Show lighting has been installed for the facade for The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Transitioning over to the Super Nintendo World project, uh, work has continued on it, which is really fantastic news. They have uh, scrims up on the side of the scaffolding there that's around the perimeter of Nintendo, closest to the Jurassic Park, or the Jurassic World side. You can see they've been installing more of the sheeting. I like to call it like drywall sheeting, but I don't think it's drywall but it's sheeting that goes on the exterior uh, units of steel that are around the perimeter of the project. And then on top of that, they start doing like the more fine details. But yeah, so progress has begun again, which is really nice to see. Don't really know when this project is supposed to be finished. I'm still guessing sometime late next year. Just depends on how quickly they move along with the project, but at least at least they're uh, working on it. I, again, like I've always said every single week, I think on most of the, uh, I think most of the work is happening on the inside of the Super Mario Kart attraction. Let's make our way down towards the lower lot to check up on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and see what else is going on. Okay, yeah, we do have some uh, breaking developments. Not really, it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just a little something. We got some soundproofing. Uh, behind Mummy, they usually put that up because they do, uh, they, you know, they're still doing productions in the back lot, even during Horror Nights, they could be doing a late night production and to uh, help with the sound, they put that, that big old barrier up on the fence there. So that is up and I wouldn't be surprised if we see more of that continue, especially around the park. And the back half of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you see that they are installing some more trees and that's pretty much it back there. I, I haven't really noticed anything right now that's a little, that's like majorly different than uh, last week. And then up towards the front, along with the soundproofing, I am noticing that there's a couple trees up there as well. So maybe the front facade of that is is complete. Excited to check this maze out. I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, curious to see what this one's gonna look like because they've done the Texas Chainsaw Massacre before in the past. So uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what the 2021 version's gonna be. And we've made it down to Jurassic World. And you know, one cool thing, that I noticed while we were down here is that they brought back the baby Velociraptor puppets. Those things are so cool and, you know, so innovative, honestly. Like, how neat of an experience that is. Up close and personal, little baby Velociraptors. Love it. And since we're down the lower lot, here's another view of the Super Nintendo World project. Really not much going on on this side. There's a couple little structural steel, uh, you know, pieces that I can see that have popped up. But other than that, things look relatively the same. You know, Carter brought up a good point. I wonder if they're going to paint the side of the show building for the Mario Kart attraction, that same style of the hills, those classic Nintendo hills. I don't know. It would look kind of funny if they didn't extend it out a little bit, but you know what, you never know. They might build a giant barrier right there to block out a lot of the backstage. You know, this is definitely an unfinished project, so things can change, especially as we go into next year, because the mountain range does look pretty cool. 
And same thing with this uh, concrete perimeter fence. Yeah, I wonder if they'll do anything with that, if they'll paint it or they'll put some primer or something on it. I don't know, I guess we're gonna just have to keep an eye on it week by week, month by month. And you know, with that, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. We pretty much covered what we needed to cover today. Well, now that the sun has set, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, especially from Universal Studios Hollywood and the Halloween Horror Nights updates, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description, as well as a huge shout out and a thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing. and You help out tremendously with each and every video. You make a lot of them possible. So thank you so much. If you want to help the support the channel and do a one-time donation, I'll leave the link down below in the description. You could do that and I would greatly appreciate it. I had a great time here at Universal Studios Hollywood hanging out with my buddy Carter from Jinx Everywhere. I'll leave his channel link down below in the description. You know, I'm super excited for Halloween Horror Nights. It's coming up fast. It's going to be here in about four and a half, five weeks, which is nothing. It's going to be quick. And you know, every single week, we're gonna see more and more progression on a lot of the mazes being constructed in the park and over at the Curious George parking structure. But other than that though, hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.